Hello, hello. It's Ninka here from Ninks.com. Today we're going to make a Father's Day card for all the fathers out there. And I'm going to use my whiskey business, a stamp set that's actually carrying over again to the new annual catalog. And then the new beautiful shape styles that was in the January to June. And I think it's also carrying over to the new annual catalog. So let's jump in and do that quickly so sorry about my stuffy nose seasonal allergies or who knows what <laughs> has got me all stuffy okay i'm going to use a crumb cake piece of cardstock it is five and a quarter by four and i'm just going to do some background stamping using this little texture element i think it's let me just get a um, grid paper to put underneath otherwise i'm going to have my silicone mat all inky that we don't want there we are Okay, I'm just going to stamp some background, some background elements just here randomly. If you hear the kids, they're all home for summer. They're having fun playing. This is, what did I say, is it early espresso? and i'm just doing second third fourth generation stamping just here and there you can twist the stamp a little bit i don't really mind where it goes or how it looks we just it's just for some interest there we go that looks nice and that is enough so let's get this closed up for now where is my chamois so we've been having nice warm days enjoying the sunshine and the summer okay i am going to emboss this piece and i'm also going to die cut it so what i want to do first is quickly um use my beautiful shapes dies to die cut pieces out we're going to use this part for like a window so my idea is to no matter doesn't really matter which side goes where to die cut a piece out of there and then a smaller one and let's say out of here something like that so i'm going to do that and then i'll be right back okay so i want to show you what i did i just quickly die cut straight out of my stamp piece these two now it's the biggest one grab this um you have the biggest one and then the second it's not don't use this one because i'm going to use this for a border and then the third one so one one two three and then there's a fourth one two that we're going to use for a border so use the biggest one and then the third from biggest one for to die cut this and it doesn't really matter how they're laid out as long as you have them just on on there and now we're going to do use a little bumblebee scrap i have bumblebee you can use crushed curry if you don't have bumblebee anymore because that one is now retired so what i'm going to do is now use the next in laying one on there and then die cut that out of this piece as well so as you can see i'm using this for like my placement where i want to put it and then i'm just using some washi tape to hold this one in place where i want it same with this little one put it oops don't move it grab a piece of washi and then just stick it on there 
and now I'm going to take this one off and now it will be exactly die cut exactly where I want that so I'm going to run that through real quick too now I ran this piece through too and now we want to use this whoops negative space here so take that off do not um, throw away these we're going to use this little one for our stamping whoops my washer is a bit sticky let me just get that off nice there we go okay this piece we're not going to use right now so we have this and you'll see that now that made a perfect perfect border like that okay what I, another extra element i want to add is i want to emboss this piece now you don't have to do that but i like the way it looks and my favorite embossing folder is the tasteful textile embossing folder so i'm going to run that through and i'll show you when i'm done okay so i used my tasteful textiles 3d embossing folder to give it some extra texture i do love that and now i'm just going to add here this piece to here with my liquid glue and i don't want to put it all the way to the edge because that part is going to show just add some little bit here and just a little bit here just put it this way and I'm now just going to make sure that my borders are even I already checked that when I added my washi so there we go we have our like we're going to do a little window so this will be part of that and now we're going to do some stamping just a piece of very vanilla and it's five by three and three quarters now again i'm going to add this on here just checking at the back that that is sort of aligned up as long as you don't see the edges it's fine and then i'm just going to use my um pencil across on the other desk okay so and I'm just going to make little marks here to let me know where my area, my window is going to be so that I know when I do my stamping where I want to stamp. Okay, and then we will just erase this. Oh, and that one's somewhere there, but it doesn't really matter that much. This one will be somewhere there just to give us some, some idea of where we're going to stamp. Okay, and then I'm going to use my early espresso ink. Now I'm going to do the water coloring technique, a uh, water coloring techniques on this. Now this is water-based ink, so if you use too much, it's going to smear. If you don't want it to smear, then use um, your stays on stays on ink. I have ordered myself some um, stays on. That's the brown one. Hmm something brown that would look nice but it has not arrived yet now i'm not going to use the whole bottle i'm just going to have the top part of it in here so about there i hope that's about right i'm struggling to see yeah that looks good we're not going to see the whole thing and then i'm just going to do the glass down here just like that okay and then I have another while we're stamping let's just grab out this I just um, die cut another piece of very vanilla I think it's that third let me see okay so it's not the smallest one it's the second from from smallest one And I'm going to put my sentiment on that. 
and the sentiment in this set is being a dad is whiskey business so i'm just going to hope that is straight again give the ink some time to absorb and there we go so i think that is most of our stamping done for this one and now i'm just going to add some color to this it's not going to be very dramatic just using some bumblebee once again if you don't have bumblebee use crushed curry it will work out just as well i'm just going to use a little bit of pick up i still have a drop here from previously i can just pick up some color from my ink pad and make myself a little water color here i'm not going to use a lot of water again this is wool smear if you use too much and then i'm just starting at the edges and going to the middle and the minute my ink starts sort of you know not having there's only a little bit left i will just go very lightly go over everything like that and then the same with this one now we do not need to do a whole bottle because not all of it is going to show so i'm just going to start here at the corners work my way in and the same up here very lightly in the middle work my way down again i don't mind about what happens here at the bottom really and then if you want a darker ink you can pick it up straight from your ink pad do not use a lot of water a lot of ink because i'm not using watercolor paper but you can use the watercolor paper okay i'm done with that and then i'm just going to add a little bit of cajun craze just to the very very edges and i'm going to clean my water brush just on my chamois put out some a little bit of water there and then i'm going to grab some ink i still have some ink left here little only a little bit of water and then just on the this ed slightest edges to bring some extra color in there and the same here just the top a little bit there and a little bit here I just want that extra, that little bit of a darker reddish, uh, more brownish color here and there. And I will not go over the ice with this one, just down here. A little bit more here in the middle, going off to the edge. There we go. I think that's fine i can stop fiddling with it there we go we just need some extra color on there okay and that's all that i'm going to do clean this off i um may want to erase these little um, pencil marks there we go very lightly oh i'm probably bumping the camera now so if you make your pencil marks very lightly then they will just come off right away and you don't need to spend a lot of time on that there we go okay now i want to add a little bit of twine to this and I'm just going to grab three lengths 
about one, two, three, something around there, just to give it some extra interest here. And, um, oh, it would have been easier just to cut them, wouldn't it? Let's go to the sick. Can't remember how I did last. I just had them this way. There we go. So I want them to be sort of equal. Just grabbing that part, cutting that off. You can also just like fold them around or run them around. I like to save some twine by just cutting them off there going to use this piece that we cut out of the bumblebee it's the second largest one. Oh, I've got sticky and just frame out my sentiment like that frame this add some liquid glue to the back frame out my sentiment using that off cut piece and I'm not going to pop up my sentiments because we're going to pop up this entire panel so I'm just going to put this one on here like this oh, let's move it up a little bit there we go so that looks straight sort of and then I just add some tear and tape at the back for my uh, twine. Take this off. So that's the name. What, what's it? Um, the natural. Natural linen thread. There we go. So I'm going to put all three strands on the side and just bring them over this way and fold them over the top and stick them down onto the um, tear and tape at the back. And now I'm going to adhere this with the foam strips to the front of the card. Now you don't need to go crazy with it. I think I did a bit with the first one I made. <laughs> I think I was over totally too much. I used totally too much there. Okay, so we're just going to use this. We don't want it to show. So just go all the way around. And then I'll just use some dimensionals in the middle. There's a little piece here that you don't want to sag. I love this. It's so easy to make window cards because you just grab your strip, put it on here, just like so. I think you also save a lot because we don't use a lot of, you know, separate dimensionals. <clears throat> and I just catch my thread with that too, then I know that won't, you know, slip off later. I have a little extra piece here, so I'm just going to add this here. If you want, you can do more, but I feel that covers the, the whole um, part there. Let's grab and get get this off all of the backings off and then we'll adhere that to our card and we're almost done I did like um, the color combination on this one and how it turned out okay Ooh. is that all of them I think there's one more back here there we are okay now you'll see the minute we have this on there you can now position it 
the way you feel that looks good as long as the you know the vanilla is not showing at the back so that is our front and we're just going to stick this on a Cajun craze card front so I have some of the um, foam here but that doesn't matter it's all going to be covered up I'm just using liquid glue and we put this on our card front I have a um, I'm just going to try and get this lined up so that we have an equal border all the way around the nice thing about liquid glue is it gives you some time to um, to move things around a bit, but that looks good to me. Okay, and now I just want to use a little bit more of my linen thread. I'm going to just tie a knot right there. You can leave it like that. I do like some you know just something extra just get these i don't know what's that two inches about i just eyeball about the length i want and i'm going to do three little threads here too just pop them underneath and not. Let's see if they're all three come out at once. Probably not because I'm on camera, right? Oh no. One, two, mm-hmm. Three. There it is. Okay, got it. And then just decide where you want it, which way you want it to go. I think that's good. And then just pull it tight and then you can just let them you know pull them apart a little bit there we go okay so this was our father's day card and happy father's day to my dad and all the other dads out there and um i hope you all have a wonderful day and enjoy the good weather and the sunshine see you again soon Bye-bye.